Hello there guys, what is up? Carmando here and welcome to this little unboxing video. I remember I did one of these before last year, which was the last time when I actually ordered from this protein place. And I ordered again tonight to last week or something. So I just thought I would do an unboxing because there's a lot of stuff here. It, I, I saved something like 60 odd pounds or something. It would have been like 200 and something. It was only like 160 or 180, I, I can't remember. And you might, you know, you think, oh, that's a lot, but the last time I ordered was November or something last year, so it's lasted a while. You know, it lasted me a while. Let's me just run out of the stuff this week, this, the last of the protein shakes and the brownies and stuff. But <clears throat> we're here again and we're going to unbox this. And I also just read something before we get into this that annoyed me, because um, on Raw, in case you didn't watch it, um, or if you didn't watch it, maybe you want to not look at this video, but Jason Jordan was revealed as Kurt Angle's son, and um, the reason they felt that they wanted to break up American Alpha was because they didn't feel they were over. And that really pissed me off when I read that, because the booking they received on SmackDown really pissed me off, because it was so bad. They were amazing in NXT. I just watched like a video, somebody posted a video like in response to all the tweets and stuff, I was like, just look at how over they were. It's ridiculous. And then they took it to SmackDown. Horrible booking. And they're like, oh, well, it's their fault. They're not over enough. No, your shit booking is the reason they're not over enough. Just, just the last sentence. I was, I was just reading through, oh, they want to give Jason Dorn a Drew, uh, Drew McIntyre type push from 2009 and, and Gable will be this underdog. And then that last sentence, they didn't feel it was over enough. Oh, that really annoyed me. But anyways, let's not get angry. That's... Get excited and see what I'm about to unbox. Anyways, this thing, this doesn't look like it, it did in the picture. In the picture, I thought it was this little tiny thing about about up to here. It's this big ass thing. It's a water bottle, and I didn't want it. It just it came up as like this flash deal reduced from like ten pounds to to three pounds or something. I was like, fine. You keep popping up because it was popping up all the time, and I was like, okay, give it to me. I don't know if I'll ever use it, and I can't get it out of the bloody bag. Some bit of sellotape annoying me. <clears throat> there we go. It's a bloody big ass thing. Look at it. That's not the size that it looked on the picture. It looked tiny. I was like, okay, it'll be. I'll take it, I guess. But it's a bloody big ass thing. I don't really know if I'll use it. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I will. Um, that's just the, the weird uh, bubble packaging stuffs we got. Coconut chips, which uh, have they got a date on them? They they don't. So I, I remember last time some of my stuff went out of date. Um, and this is the first time I'm trying these natural Brazil nuts. I've never had them before, so curious to see if they're any good. Coconut chips are good. Um, oh, here's another thing. Here's a first first time try. Don't know if I like this cashew butter. Never had it before. Don't know if it'll be any good. Not good for one hand. That's why I opened the box beforehand. I'm not doing that one-handed opening crap. But we've still got to do some of it for this, this thing. So here we go. Come on, out you come, yeah, better. There we go. I don't know if it's any good. People rave about it and say it's really good. So what's the date on it? 29th of fuck. 29th of September. That's like a couple months. God damn, that's a big tub to get through. Hopefully it's good. Or. I'm going to have to mix it in with my shakes, which I do with a lot of things if I don't like the taste of them. Like I just got this this uh, this chocolatey stuff here a couple of weeks ago, and I tried it for the first time yesterday, just on its own. And I was like, oh, I couldn't drink it. I could only drink so much. I was like, oh my god, that's bad. I had to mix it in with something else. It was really, really tough to eat. And what have we got here? Usually this stuff comes in, in big tubs, but they've uh, changed. I'm going to... I'm going to bags now. It's uh, what is this thing? Is this the protein protein nutty things? I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, nutty. Right there, bold. Right, in. I can't even see it. All right. I suppose that's better for the environment instead of those big ass tubs. You never know. I might be able to reuse some of the bags for something. It's nice. That was the triple nut chocolate flavor. I'll give it a try. I wonder what that rumbling is. It's sooty up there. Look at him being a feather on top of the up top of the fridge. And then we've got some protein cookies. I've had them before, but not this flavour. I believe it's what macadamia or something. Yeah, white chalk macadamia. I'll give them a whirl. We won't be able to see anything. I've opened this up. They're all in packages. 
to this. I had the cookie before, they're just not that flavour. Then we got the brown, oh no, it's truffles, they're in the, they're in that tubs. So, Alright, cool, cool. There's a good heap of them in there, that's nice Jaffa cake flavour. I thought I'd try them. That'll likely be good. <coughs> and here's another one, the brownies there in the, in the packs too. It's very... There's not as much of them, I don't think, in these pockets. That's the only downside to this. I don't think there's much, and I think they're still charging the same amount. 15. Because I think it was bloody 22 or something was in, in a tub. And they're still charging the same price. That's disrespectful. And then we got a shit ton of bloody protein shakes and stuff. And it looks like there's been some... Some leakages, maybe not. The big Z, oh this is this hot chocolate thing, yeah. I want to try it. Chocolate malt. It's something about, put, put it into the, in the microwave for a little bit. Alright, cool. I'll try it at some point. I just want to try it and see, I don't know if I'll like it. I've never really had hot chocolate before. I think I've maybe had it once when I was younger. And then we've got a ton of protein, loads of different flavours. Chocolate brownie. There's a ton of them here that I've never had before. Uh, what have we got here? This one seems bloody rather empty. What the fuck? Hmm. French vanilla, 210 grams. There's no, no sign of a leakage. Seems rather empty. Hmm. See the rest then. See what they feel like now. They feel a lot better. That is a... Is that the same size? Yeah, it is. Hmm, I'm going to have to bloody get on to about that one. Banoffee Deluxe. Ah, more problems. There's another lightweight one. Chalk Marble Cheesecake, 210 grams. Seven servings. Oh no, maybe this is this bloody trial one, is it? There was like a trial one or something I got. Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. Chalk Marble Cheesecake, by the way. Yeah. That must be it. Yeah, that one's really small too. Okay, no problems then. But uh, it's kind of. I thought we were getting the full big bloody, the big amount. That's why I went for it. It was like fifty pounds for five of them for five different flavors, and I thought, oh well, it must be the same size as the other ones, but clearly not. Kind of a rip off actually. Now that I think about it, chalk peanut cookie dough. There's not actually a lot here now, now that it's, I've realised it's that size. That's not going to last long. There's another fucking one. Small. There's hardly anything in there. That's not bloody 13 servings in there. Unless it's a really fucking small amount you've got to put in. 7.5 gram scoop. Hmm. And so what's the amount I've got to put in for this one? One large scoop, 30 grams. Hmm. I think I've been ripped off here, to be quite honest, when I see the size of these bloody things. Why is it such a big pocket if it's a very little amount? And that costs bloody, I'm sure that costs similar amount as that. It's some bullshit. There's another one. Well, I won't be buying that one again. That bloody one where you get five for, for the one price. There's not a lot here now, now that I'm seeing that, and I'm a bit disappointed. <coughs> There's a bigger one. Vegan Super Blend, yeah. What flavour is it? Vanilla Coconut, alright. I think this might be another bigger one, yeah. Belgian Choca Mocha. Well, I'm kind of disappointed with that. I, I, I didn't see a size. I, when you see it, they're all the same. Bloody, that's the same with that thing. That thing was deceiving with the size. It looked tiny. But then this thing just looked like a normal size. And I thought, oh, you're getting five for the for a cheaper price. I thought, well, that must be must be the same size. But no, there's that one seems a bit bigger. But some of them seem really small. Where's the other ones? Mm -hmm. Kind of disappointed with that. Like. This isn't going to last me that long, actually, now that I see that, I'm a little bit ticked off at that. But there you go, that's my little unboxing. Um, so I thought, oh, I'm going to have to order again, probably the, the brownies and stuff, soon, but there really is not a lot in all these things. Which sucks. 
Um, I'll be looking into that. I'll be looking into that to see the size and what have you. See if I maybe misread something. But um, yeah, there's my little unboxing. I thought I'd just do it something different. I got some I'm off work just now, so that's the only reason I did this. If I wasn't, if I was still working, I would have just just not done this. Um, but yeah, I was just cutting up some strawberries and that before made a protein shake thing. Um, the strawberries actually run out. Uh, you can see here my plate where I was cutting them up. The uh, strawberries actually says the best before date was today, and I was like, well, I'm never going to be able to eat that all of that today. I'll maybe have, I've had a couple while I was chopping them up, a couple slices, and I'm maybe going to go and have a yogurt and have a couple of them with it. But then tomorrow when I'm washing wrestling, I'm probably just going to have a heap of them, and then maybe have the rest of them later at night. Unless if they're looking a little bit, you know, if they're starting to go off, then maybe just have the whole lot while I'm watching wrestling. But we'll see. But yeah, there you have it. I'm waiting to go and tidy all this up, and and then I'll check the sizes, see if I misread something. Um, I can't I can't go over this one. This with these super greens one. I can't get over the size of it because I'm sure it was bloody the same price. And look how much. There's, there's fucking barely anything in there. You know, I understand that it's a smaller scoop size you're only putting in. You're only putting in a, a 7.5 gram thing, but... 100 grams? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good for weight slate, but... I don't know. A little bit thingy with that. But we're looking into it. There you have it. A little video. lasted a bit longer than I thought it would. So, yeah, there you have it. And I also... Maybe I ranted a little bit about American Alpha before I... Before I, uh... Start, I don't know. That's it. See you later.